morning. Tell me something good. Tuesday is on the air, and we've, we've got the Chihuahua Fornia 500 coming back, Lisa. I know. I like it, Gary. On Cinco de Mayo, we're going to be at Tapiac. Uh, hang on a minute. Let me get the official name of, uh, of the restaurant now. Hang on a minute. I'm going to find it. Tapiac restaurant and tequila sports bar in the city of industry it's where we were last year nice place it is a very nice place so we're going to do the chihuahua fornia 500 the chihuahua races and the winning chihuahua gets 5,000 pesos that's 263 dollars and change okay if you'd like your chihuahua to be in the in the race you can call us this morning 1-800-232-KRTH there's limited and limited uh, signups there's like 30 chihuahuas in the rate, three heats of 10, and then we're going to take some alternatives too, some alternates. And Bernie, <laughs> Bernie, you were there last year, right? Yes, we were. She ran the opposite direction, but this year we're going to get it right. <laughs> What's her name? Roxy. Oh, I remember Roxy. Yeah. So Roxy ran the wrong way. What are you doing to train her this year? Um, treat, lots of treat, positive reinforcement. You know, the real secret to to making the dog run in the right direction is to have somebody hold the dog on the other side of the race course, and you wait at the finish line. So the dog runs to you. Yeah, and that's kind of where we messed up. So it's not all Roxy's fault. Oh, no, not Roxy's fault at all, obviously. <laughs> no. No, never blame the dog. <laughs> never blame the dog. Okay, so we're taking some, uh, if you'd like to be there on Cinco de Mayo, which is a Friday morning, and we're going to broadcast live from Tapiac. Restaurant and Tequila Sports Bar in the City of Industry. We'll tell you where it is. Brandon will take care of you. Okay, let's do 